This video will demonstrate how to use the new address management feature. Address management is mostly required if you have multiple locations that are different from your standard shipper information address. This could be a warehouse for example. Click on, account. Then on, addresses. Here you can define your shipper information, which is typically your company information. You can also define multiple, ship from, locations. Most of the time, your shipper information is also the ship from, location, but sometimes customers have a warehouse or multiple warehouses, where they need to configure the address per shipment. You can simply add multiple warehouses and give them a name. If you need more than two, like in this example, you simply add a new address and keep adding new warehouses. This information can then be used in the shipment default section to configure rules for forward shipments and for return shipments. For forward shipments, typically the sender information is your company address. The, ship from, location might be the same shipper information, or it might be a warehouse that you just created under addresses. In this example, we will pick the warehouse. The ship to is typically the receiver address that the system is getting from the commerce system. You can also configure the return shipment rules. For example, if you're sending a return label to a customer. The sender information is typically your company information. The, ship from, in this example, is the receiver that previously received the package from you. In this case, you would take the address from the order and the, ship to address would be the shipper info, or another warehouse. In this use case, you can save those changes. You can then go to the orders section to verify this is working correctly. Select an order and create a shipping label. You can now see that the sender information equals the shipper information. The ship from, is as configured previously, warehouse 1. If you are not satisfied with this information, you can also select another warehouse. The receiver information in this case is the receiver address. The same applies for returns. Click on, actions and then create a return label. You can see that as the sender information, the shipper information is configured. The, ship from, in this case is the buyer and receiver of the goods. The receiver here is the warehouse and address that was configured. If you are not happy with the pre-selection, you can simply change it and create your labels. And that is the new, address management feature.